For over 24 years, Flagstaff has grown to become a name synonymous with camping and the great outdoors. Let's see how easy it is to set up your new Flagstaff camping trailer. Once you have selected your campsite, make sure you position your camping trailer on level ground. Before starting the setup procedure, be sure that the battery is properly connected to power the unit if you plan on operating the electric lifter system or power tongue jack. Setup begins with cranking the dolly jack to level the camper. If your camper is equipped with the optional power tongue jack, simply push the switch to the extend position on the power tongue jack to raise the front of the camper and to the retract position to lower the camper. Next, set the stabilizer jacks with sand pads on all four corners of the camper. Simply crank down each jack to stabilize the camper. After all stabilizers are set, release the four latches that hold the roof secure. If you plan to utilize the awning, unzip and roll out the awning at this point. Release the awning legs located on the front of the awning rail and place them on the ground. Now, extend both support arms located on the back of the awning rail and place into the sockets located on the roof sidewall. Continue to extend the support arms until the fabric is taut and twist to lock. Next, extend the legs to the top pin position on the pole. Once the roof latches are released, simply push the switch on the power winch to the up position to raise the roof. Keep an eye on the extender cable for indication that the roof is fully raised. To lower the roof, push the switch on the power winch to the down position. If necessary, the power winch is equipped with a manual override feature. To access the mount for the crank handle, remove the round plastic cap on the motor cover. Then, insert the supplied jack handle and crank the handle to raise and lower the roof. The guide wire will tell you when the roof is extended to full height. You can see Flagstaff uses wider lifter posts. These posts are twice the size of many competitors and will add more support and stability to the roof. Set the safety supports on the opposing corner lifter arms. At this time, adjust the awning legs to the desired height. If you prefer, you can attach the awning legs to the sockets located on the sidewall. During periods of high precipitation, adjust the awning pitch to allow water to run off. It is recommended during heavy winds that the awning be closed. Now, remove the double pole bed supports from under the mattress. The poles with the black cap are installed in the back of the camper and the poles with the white cap are installed in the front. Install the poles by inserting the clip into the bracket at the top of the tent camper wall and into the bracket on the tent camper frame. Place the bottom pole into the appropriate slot to ensure the top pole is level. Then slide the bunk end out until it is fully extended. Flagstaff permanently attaches their tent material to the bunk end to ensure dry bedding during setup and takedown in the event of rain. It also provides extra safety if someone were to lean against it from the inside. Adjust the side bunk tent assembly by securing the fitted corners and extending the tent sides below the bunk. Now, repeat the bunk end setup procedure on the other bunk end. Rain or shine, you will feel secure knowing that Flagstaff uses the strongest, most water-resistant tent in the industry. Vinylon is a five-piece, sectionalized tent with down-facing interlock seams and double-stitched at all tension points. See your owner's manual for more information on how easy it is to clean and maintain your tent for years and years of enjoyment. At this point, if your tent camper is equipped with Flagstaff's Easy Glide slide-out dinette, there are a few additional steps you will need to do. Release the slide room by lifting the lift and turn latch, then turning to release the lock. Take hold of the handle and pull out the slide room. Attach the cotter pins to the steel pins extruding from the sidewall at the seal. Similar to the bed ends, Flagstaff attaches the tent material to the slide out 
So simply attach the Velcro strips to both sides of the slide out. It's now time to address the procedures done from inside the camper. Once inside the camper, begin by zipping the tent corners. The five-piece tent assembly makes it easy to repair or replace a panel should the need ever arise. Place the locking pin into the bed rail to secure the bunk. Now, to complete the bunk setup, put the overhead support pole into the bed bow and push into place. Notice that all supports are powder coated and won't leave unsightly marks on the interior tenting. Then, adjust the length of the pole until the bunk material is stretched tight. Set the other bunk end pole into place and the bed ends are ready to use. Now, complete the slide-out setup by attaching the slide-out dinette rafter pole to the tent bow and stretching the tent into position. Insert the end of the rafter pole in the metal clip and adjust the tension. When closing up the dinette, be sure to pull out the tent fabric and check to make sure there is a clear path for sliding in the bed ends. If your Flagstaff High Wall Series is equipped with a hard wall shower, some additional setup is required. Lift the top shower wall section up and slide into place. Lock the safety latch. Next, lift the bottom shower wall section up and slide out into place. Lock the safety latch. To complete the setup, install the shower door by inserting the bottom lip into the locking brackets and the top tabs into the locks. Install the interior shower curtain and exterior privacy curtain. The black and gray water dump valves are located on the off-door side for waste removal. Next, install the faucet stored inside the sink by screwing it to place on the top of the sink. Remove the faucet and store it back inside the sink when tearing down. Remove the dinette cushions from the bed position and place the table on its side or on the bed. Then simply unfold the table legs and lock into place. In most models, Flagstaff uses a freestanding table so it can be utilized both inside and outside the camper. If your model has a floor-mounted table base, install the pedestal legs into the floor pedestal and set the table into place. Next, position the seat cushions and supported back cushions on the bases. Most Flagstaff models feature the fantastic vent. This 12-volt, three-speed fan is quiet, dissipates condensation, and exchanges the air in your tent camper, allowing you to breathe natural, ambient outside air. It's important to always secure the vent cover with the lock on the inside before closing for travel. Before installing the door, you should first remove the travel door by lifting the door to release the hinge pins. Then, stow the door beneath the rear bunk and secure it with the attached shock cord. Be sure to reinstall this door before attempting to slide in the bunk during teardown. Setting the screen door on a flagstaff is a snap. This model features a one-piece door that requires no assembly and easily sets into place. Simply push the door up and release the snaps on the side of the door. Allow the guide wires to support the door. Next, twist the retainer clip at the bottom of the door to release it from the travel position. Position yourself in the middle of the door, lift it out of the travel position, and guide the door outside the opening, setting it onto the threshold. Twist the six retainer clips to hold the door secure. Then, attach the tenting to both sides of the door with the Velcro strips. Your Flagstaff has been equipped with standard heated mattresses that generate a warm, gentle, soothing heat for those chilly nights. To provide power to your heated mattresses, simply plug in the power cord and controller into the outlet sewn into the side of the mattress and plug into a 110-volt outlet located on the walls near the bed ends. If you have the model HW29SC, you have a 20-inch LCD TV monitor as standard equipment. To position the TV for viewing, release the lock and turn it into position. Your camper is equipped with a dome light main power switch. This switch must be in the off position before the camper is closed. It is also important to always turn off the furnace prior to closing the trailer. 
Since the appliances in your Flagstaff camper may vary according to floor plans and options, we suggest that you consult your dealer or owner's manuals included with your camper for operating and maintenance information. Returning outside the camper, attach the tent to the Velcro along the length of the bunk. Notice the storm flaps Flagstaff uses on the tent material. This feature allows water to run off the tent as opposed to collecting on the extrusion or rolling around on the wood of the bed ends. A shock cord is also added for safety. Next, Velcro the lifter post cover in place for added protection against the elements and insects. To attach the outside grill, remove it from the box and assemble according to the manufacturer's instructions. Begin by installing the grill base onto the mounted bracket located on the side of the tent camper. Place the grill on the base and attach the LP gas line provided from the opening on the side of the camper to the grill. Remove the grill before closing up the camper. At this point, your Flagstaff tent camper is ready to use. Flagstaff has combined Amish craftsmanship and over 24 years of experience to build you a camper of exceptional quality and value. Thank you for choosing Flagstaff.